Now, there's not very many times that we can have a home run in gun form. Man, I don't know. I think the kel P17 might be pretty dang close. Let's have a little fun with this thing here today. All right. 17 shots of 22. Nice compact setup. Got the OSS Rad 22 on here. Let's have some fun. Get down. Son, woo! <laughs> Very cool stuff. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. We hope you're all having a great day. And uh, we wanted to check out the P17. You guys probably remember our footage uh, from SHOT Show this year. We got our hands on one of these to look at uh, at the show and we were really impressed at the lightweight and, um, and also, man, the price on these things is just ridiculous. Like great, great value with these guns. They come with three magazines, which is great. They hold uh, 16 shots plus one in the chamber, makes 17, really cool stuff. I would like to take a moment to thank the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited for making sure we have things we need to um, handle our videos. Ammo has been a real issue in terms of availability, so uh, definitely thank them for hooking us up on some ammo for this video. Uh, the ammo that I ran there in the intro is the CCI Clean 22. Um, it's actually a type of 22 ammo that comes in like a little milk carton, which is really, really cool. And it's got sort of like a, um, almost like a coating on the projectile. It's not a, a copper jacket, but like a coating. And it's really great for suppressor use because you don't really have to worry about gunking up your suppressor with a bunch of lead and things like that. So uh, cool stuff, man. Um, the track record on these pistols has been absolutely stellar. And uh, I've been very happy with it. Let's have a little bit of fun. We've got a couple of friends of ours that own these pistols. Uh, Ray and Fred up at Moss. Uh, have one and they've got thousands of rounds through theirs and they've been having uh, nothing but uh, good success with it. Uh, this particular gun at this point, um, I've had it for probably a couple of months now and I've gotten uh, maybe 600 rounds through it, just kind of shooting off the porch and stuff, having fun with it. And I've yet to experience a single malfunction. Uh, I've ran it with a variety of different suppressors. Uh, we're running the OSS Rad uh, 22 just because this thing does so great on a semi-auto. Um, so let's have a little bit of fun here. What a great pistol. I mean, dude, good trigger. Uh, one thing I'll say is the location of safety is very, very convenient to get to, very easy to actuate. The magazine release is ambidextrous and can be reached from either side of the pistol, okay? Uh, the mags drop uh, free really easily. They're very easy to load, which is great. And man, just how crisp that trigger is. It's a fixed barrel, semi-auto, of course. We've got a fiber optic up front here, uh, real simple sighting arrangement. Now, when I saw these two screws on top of the action here, I thought, okay, maybe this thing can accept some form of like a slide rider. From everything that I can see, uh, it is not capable of being outfitted with a slide riding optic uh, such as an RMR, like a little Romeo 1 or something like that. So what you see is what you get. It is an iron-sided affair. Uh, all 22 cans that I've ran clear the sights just fine. Um, it, it reminds me of like a Makarov a little bit. You've got a fixed barrel, good trigger, and look, the takedown is even like a Makarov. And now I'm not going to pull the pistol apart completely because the suppressor is intact and we can't pull the slide off or the, uh, you know, the guts off, but you just pull this takedown lever, pull back all the way, lift up, and look at that. Now, if the, if the cam wasn't on there, we'd be able to pull the guts right off and we've got complete access to the rear of the gun. We can look in there, uh, clean from the rear, whatever we need to do. And then, of course, you, know, you would put it back in the same way all the way, push down and ride her home, you're good to go. Real easy to disassemble. I know I didn't fully disassemble it, but you get the idea. Um, you've got a little section of pick rail on the bottom there if you wanna run yourself a little light or something or a little laser. Just a great plinker and gosh, lightweight. What a fantastic handgun. All right, uh, this is more of the CCI clean ammunition. I've got three mags of this. All right, they come with three magazines and the price on these is usually around 200 bucks. I don't know, man, look, the Smith & Wesson MP 22, look out, there's a new kid on the block. 
You're gonna have to get with program on, on getting some more rounds in those magazines. There's more room in that magazine for more rounds, Smith, if you're listening. All right. <laughs> Dude, Keltec, man, they, they hit it out of the park with this gun. Every single person I've let shoot this gun has been just ridiculously happy with it. And man, I've, I've been happy with it. <laughs> okay, I'm getting silly. Now I will say this, the accuracy is outstanding. Uh, it is a fixed barrel gun, so you do get some very reasonable accuracy out of them. Uh, I'll try to take some longer range shots, and I'll tell you what, we'll take out our sodas here just for fun as well. Uh, I mean, I was wrapping them out there pretty fast, but um, man, what a great little trail pistol, trapping pistol. This would be great for dispatching your foxes and things if you're trying to trap. Dude, boringly accurate, boringly accurate. Uh, there are other 22 pistols that of course will outperform this one in terms of accuracy, but gosh, not many. And not without uh, getting up into like a target grade gun that's gonna be a little bit less practical than this. And as a suppressor host, one thing I like about this particular pistol as well is that it also represents a really, really great value if you're out and about and let's just say you destroy it or break it or lose it or something, I mean, you're not out a ton of money. Like a lot of us are riding around on four wheelers and sometimes you wanna have a rimfire pistol for dispatching animals or whatever the case you might wanna use it for. Or, I mean, if you're just a person that just shoots a lot of 22, I mean, this is just a great gun. And man, it's just, it's held up great so far. Really cool stuff. Fall down, plate. <laughs> I cannot get that plate to fall over at 22. Just ain't got enough energy. All right. We got a couple more rounds of the clean 22 out of the crate. And then I think looks like we're getting into some Winchester here. And I got some of these 45 grain uh, American Eagle as well that we'll try. Um, that last time that I, that I pulled the slide back and released it, it barely didn't want to go into battery like just a scotch. I literally just reached up and touched it and it went all the way in the battery. And the gun probably would have still fired, but I just want to make note of that. All right, let's have fun with our uh, sodas here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Okay, we're changing up ammo. Ooh, she's getting hot. We're changing up ammo. And we're getting into the Winchester Super Suppressed 45 grain subsonic black copper plated round nose. Very well. All right, let's see how this stuff sounds. CCI um, Clean 22 in the, in the little milk cartons there, sounding really nice. All right, let's try out our Winchester here. I'll put a couple down in the dirt for you. Down in the dirt. Long range. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love it. Ooh, hot. <laughs> Very hot. Okay. Now we've uh, moved up to some American Eagle suppressor ammunition. Uh, this is a 45 grain round nose. Uh, looks to be, okay, it is copper plated round nose. 970 feet per second, boys and girls. So let's see how this sounds. This would be a perfect training pistol for a young person. You know, if you've got a younger uh, child that's getting into shooting, you wanna tr start training them on a rimfire pistol. This thing is so lightweight. It's just ridiculous. Man, I haven't had this much fun shooting a rimfire in quite a while, I must admit. that This thing is just uh, surprisingly reliable. 
You know, we, we know that kel have had their, you know, teething issues, especially new ones, so we were all kind of shocked when we saw how well this one worked. Oh, well, there's no soda in that one. Yeah, I have to say that that particular ammunition not quite as accurate as the CCI clean. All right, let's try a couple more rounds. I got a couple other bolts on these plates that we can try. All right, let's give it a shot here. The can's in place, so we're looking good there. Not quite as accurate. Seems like the CCI's got, uh, got a little bit of edge up on the accuracy department there. Okay. Um, ooh, hot. <laughs> we are running the heck out of this little guy. All right, a couple more mags here. I'm gonna shoot one more and then maybe uh, two more mags and uh, we'll let you guys get back to your day. I I'm not trying to make this a ridiculously long video. I think you can see the gun's definitely reliable, reasonably accurate. Uh, wonderful suppressor host. Uh, here's more of the Winchester 45 grain. This thing absolutely purrs with subs. Really cool setup. Fun, fun, fun in the sun. Definitely hot today, boys and girls. <laughs> That's 80 yards with a handgun, <laughs> boys and girls. Okie dokie. Man, easy to maintain, comes with a lot of mags, works, doesn't cost a lot of money. Am I missing something, Chad, somewhere? <laughs> is, there, is there a portion of the equation that I'm not paying attention to? Uh-oh. Yep, that slide barely went into, didn't go into battery there. That's cool. Man, great. Great, 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 great. Really, really handy piece of uh, hardware there. and doesn't have to cost a lot of money to get something decent. Um, last mag here, and uh, we'll let you guys get back to your day. Uh, we've had a great day out filming today, and this is just such a great way to end the day uh, with a rimfire pistol, and especially one that is uh, a good value. I think right now with lots of uh, the stuff with COVID's put a lot of people out in terms of work, and gosh, there's just so many reasons why it's always great to save some money. And I think it's so cool that this is so obtainable, and it works so well, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to be um, you know, a great product. And I think kel -Tec, Man, they, they did a great job with this gun, and I'm super happy with the performance of this pistol. All right, one more mag. <clears throat> Good stuff. <laughs> Man, look at that. Reliable to boot. Guys, have a great day. We appreciate all of our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Uh, all of you who purchase t-shirts over on Ballistic Inc. and supporting your favorite content creators. Thank you guys very much uh, for caring about what we do and seeing value in what we do. Uh, over on the website, we've got some great man cans for sale. Make sure you check them out. Uh, lots of hand-picked gear that we select just for you guys. Uh, if you really wanna support the channel, those are the most direct ways that you can do so. Pick up a man can, a t-shirt, or consider donating on Patreon. So guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. All right, I'm gonna get to cleaning. This thing's kinda skanky, so let's put her in the sign.